Hey guys, it's Amy back to you to talk to you about clep tests. And today I wanted to make a short video on how to clep through the sciences. So if you've taken a look uh, through the College Board's website or just Googling it, the list of possible clep exams, you'll notice that there are three science exams. One is chemistry, another biology, and another environmental sciences. So those are three different options. And if you check out my video on the liberal arts core curriculum and how to satisfy different goal areas that a college may have with CLEP tests, um, that will help you understand this video a little bit better. So you have a student who wants to get um, some science credits in. One thing you need to be aware of is that most schools are gonna require that one of the sciences that your student takes has a lab component. Now, CLEP tests, CLEPs for the science fields do not include a lab component. So, most schools are gonna require six to nine credits of sciences. So if your student takes the biology exam, for example, like my son Caleb took the biology CLEP test, um, they're gonna get between three and six credits for that exam based on what your institution awards, but they will not get a lab component. So the second science that your student takes will probably need to be through the institution or possibly through a dual enrollment at your local high school where they can get that lab component in. So just be careful about that with the sciences. Um, Caleb, for example, did get six credits of biology through CLEP examination, but now he'll also go on to take physics with a lab component from a university in our area. So just be aware of that. You're usually gonna need a lab so the CLEP can't satisfy that lab requirement for you. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free uh, to leave them and uh, check out my other videos.